Hello and welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to paint this eternity garden for Age of Sigmar. Let's go painters! To buy miniature, board games, merchandising, accessories and all kinds of paints for our hobby, enter the website of Estaria Cordua. On her website you will be able to find all kinds of games with great discount. Being able to become a member to get more discount. They also ship all around the world. Also find out about their current and future events or book a table and play your game there. You can find the link in the description below. The first thing I have done has been to prime in white with an airbrush. I have not applied cenital highlight in this case. The first step is to paint the skin and scales with Stegadon Scale Green from Citadel with an old brush. On the base coat is dry, I will shade the skin with Drakenhof Night Shade, avoiding applying on the scales. On dry, I apply Coelia green shade on the scales to achieve variation in the tone between the skin and the scale. For the first highlight on the skin, I make a mixture of two parts of Stegadon Scale Green and one part of Temple World Blue, and we, we apply in the light areas, leaving part of the base color. The second highlight will be a one-to-one -one mix of Stegadon Scale Green and Temple War Blue, again reducing the area of application. For the next skin highlight, I use Temple World Blue. We add a new highlight with a one-to-one -one mix of Temple World Blue and Baharot Blue, reducing the area of application. 
I'm applying all this highlight with a good illusion of the paint so that the layers are smooth and transparent. Another highlight to the skin, in this case with Badharrot Blue. And finally, I will make a one-to-one -one mix of Baharoth Blue and White to apply it in later areas. For the scales, I will start with a two-part, two-one-part mix of Stigadon and Sauté Green. Now we will add a new one-to-one -one Stegadon and Sauté Green highlight in the lighter area of the scale. With Sauté Green, I add a highlight to the upper and more visible scale, ignoring the most hidden. Finally, I will apply a light with a one-to-one -one mix of Sauté Green and Temple War Blue. For the cloth, I will start applying a base of corn red from Citadel. While the cloth dries, I'm going to paint the base coat to all the golden areas with retributor armor. And we must check that we do not forget any part, saying this miniature has many elements of this color. On dry, I apply Rayclan Fresh Shade on all the red and gold areas.
I'll start by lining up the clothes with corn red. And I will add two highlights, first with one darker red and then with Evils and Scarlet. For the golden areas I'm going to begin highlighting it with red water armor, keeping the base color on the recesses. With a mix of 1 to 1 of Retributor Armor and Stormhold Silver, I'm going to highlight all the edges. For the areas of bone, I apply a base coat of German Camo Beige World War II and when it dry, I apply Agrat hair shade to all the bone elements. While the shade is drying, I'm going to apply Vallejo Desert Sun Texture onto the base. As a first highlight, I'm going to use Morgas Bone from Citadel. I add a screaming school onto the Morgas bone and highlight the high gauge area. A new layer, in this case with pure screen school.
and finally a mix of Screaming Skull and White for the last highlight. For the wooden areas and strings, I apply a base coat of dark rust, a dark brown from Vallejo. As a first highlight, I use chocolate brown. Then I apply a layer of flat brown and finally I add a screaming school for the last highlight. For the metal areas of the weapon, I apply a base coat of lead furniture from Citadel. When it's dry, I apply Noon Oil. I apply that Belcher as first highlight, keeping part of the base color. Finally, I apply Stormhost Silver to the edges. For the base I'm going to use the liquid pigments from Green Stuff World, which I will apply directly onto the Vallejo texture. In this case, I want a dark base, so I will use four colors. Dark Earth, Burn Earth, Medium Earth and Light Earth. We will start by applying the darkest one and on it we will mix the rest of the color randomly. In this way we will see how the different tones are blended. The application is very simple, we don't need to give a dry brush and we finish the base very quickly.
on the right, we will see if we need to reapply or modify something. You can see the tongue are easily blended. Now, I apply PVA and static grass dark green patches from Gale Force 9. We'll add Taft from Green Staff World and Clan Folish from Game Force 9. Finally, we will paint the base edge with black. And here we have our Eternity Garden finished for our Seraphon Army. I hope you liked the video, if so, like it, share and subscribe. If you have any question or want a special miniature, put it in the comment below. You can also follow me on my Instagram. See you next Friday with a new video, and remember. Enjoy painting.